Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I just removed last week's overlay manicure. If you wanna check that video out, I'll link it up here. But unfortunately, I noticed there was a little break in my left thumbnail. Now these breaks are my least favorite because they sneak up out of nowhere. They're kind of tricky to repair and they just drive me absolutely crazy. So once they start to snag on your hair and your clothes, they've gotta go. So I'm going to show you how I repair this. Then I'm gonna go ahead, give myself a fresh set of overlays, some fresh polish on top, Top and we'll compare at the end. So to get started, we are actually just going to remove this entire nail. I am gonna to be topping it with a fake nail today and I thought about leaving the additional length and just covering the break, but I know myself and I will know that that break is under that fake nail if I don't get rid of it. So we're cutting it as deep as we can. This was a really, really low break. So I'm snipping it as low as I can go on the side of the break and then just cutting the rest of the nail pretty short. Once I cut off the length, I'm gonna go in with a file and just smooth out the edges, round them off, and give myself a fresh sleeve. So we're gonna be growing this nail back out over the next few weeks, but we just wanna make sure that it's nice and smooth and even underneath. I'm using an Olive and June file. I really like these for taking down some good length. They work very, very well. I'm using the grittier side to just quickly do this. Once the free edge has been filed, smoothed out, rounded off, I'm going to take that same file and just rough up the surface of the nail to prep it for the fake. Also, this is just going to help the glue to adhere and it'll help the nail last. So I'm just gonna brush off all of that extra dust. This is the nail that I'm gonna be using today. I already fit it to my thumb. It fits pretty darn perfect. It's a little long, but we're gonna clip and file it down. I'm gonna take the glue that it came with and apply a little bit to my actual nail and then a good amount on the nail itself. Once I feel like I have a good amount of glue, I'm going to kind of play around with the nail till I get it exactly where I want it and then gently press down until the glue is smoothed out and the nail is in place. Now just hold this for, I don't know, 20 seconds or so, 20, 30 seconds. You really can't hold it for too long. The longer the better, you don't want it to lift. Um, you don't want any air bubbles. So I'm just trying to be patient and holding this in place. Once it has set for a little bit, you'll notice that it feels pretty strong and it's ready to be filed. So I'm gonna start with a clipper. It's kind of tricky to clip these into an almond shape because they're so long, but I'm just clipping on each side, taking a little bit off the top and getting a good amount of that length down so that I can just file it to perfection when I'm done. You don't have to be too careful with this part because we are gonna use the file to really perfect that shape. Um, again, using the olive in June, just gently filing each side and the top. I'm using my index finger to hold the nail in place. Even though it is glued down, I wanna be sure that it doesn't budge at all. This is already looking so much better. I'm really glad I decided to take this route when it came to repairing this nail. Sometimes I'll do a silk wrap. Sometimes I'll try to put a tip or a fake nail right on top of the break, but today I just wanted to get rid of it. <laughs> Sometimes it's just, it's not the move. So here they are, they look pretty darn good. I think the shape is spot on. I'm gonna go ahead and buff the surface. Just take a little bit of that shine off and a little bit of that thickness off to hopefully better match my natural nails. All right, I just filed and reshaped the rest of my nails off camera. I think they're looking pretty good. I think fake matches very well. It kind of blends in fairly seamlessly. And now I'm gonna go apply another set of overlays. So a set of my overlays consists of one coat of Gelish's foundation and one coat of the Gelish Structure Gel. And now my nails have a little added protection and added strength. I was craving a set of red nails, so I used OPI's Big Apple Red, and I think this manicure came out perfect. I did two coats of color, topped it with one coat of the Glisten and Glow Fast Drying Top Coat, and now I'm adding some Sweet Almond Cuticle Oil to just finish the mani. I think these nails came out gorgeous. I love this shade, I love this shape, and you can't even tell that I have a fake nail on my thumb. At least I can't. It looks a little more perfect than the natural nail, but to the naked eye, I think it would be really hard to tell. Overall, this was a really quick and easy repair. These nails look gorgeous. I'm loving the overlays lately. It just gives me the flexibility to change out the color of my manicure. It's also a really quick removal process, much quicker than if I were to do a full-blown gel manicure. And I'm so happy I didn't have to cut all of these down. Normally, I am someone who trims their nails when one breaks, but I couldn't bear to do it today. So that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you found it helpful, let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.